Greetings, this is Gintian. We are starting off today on my island, where the cactus farm used to be. Last episode, I took the farm down with some help after becoming aware that the cactus farms were no longer allowed on this server. This was done to help prevent lag on the server. In addition to no cactus farms, there are no farms that can use redstone circuits to automatically harvest the crops, so that rules out automatic pumpkin, melon, and sugarcane farms. Today we're going to build something in that location where the cactus farm used to be, as well as some other planned and unplanned activities. Stay tuned, and we will be right back. Greetings, this is Gintian, and I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel, and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. One thing I try to do every day, or every other day, is go to the voting websites so I can vote for this server and that allows me to see receive voting keys within the game. You can get these websites by just typing the command forward slash vote and they will pop up as you can see here. You can copy and paste them, or click on them directly, and go and vote for this server. It's that simple. And I've got some voting keys to turn in. So... Let's do that now. And the first thing we get is... A wolf egg, so I can spawn a wolf. Next is a silver shovel. A god apple. A villager's egg. That's fantastic. A llama egg. Lanterns and lights. Grasses. Not so useful. Another silver spade. Or shovel. A crate key. We don't need that. A silk touch pick. $2,000. A farmer's bundle, that's a group of seeds. Another llama egg. A cow spotter, great, fantastic. Farmer's bundle again. Some dirt. Another thousand dollars. Another silk touch pick. Another god apple. A $750. And that's all we got. That's not a bad haul. You know, let's go back to the island now. After considering the stuff we got, I must say we'll probably sell some of it. Some of the god apples sell for $6,000 a piece. I think that next we're going to go harvest the netherwort farm. Before I go work on the farm, I want to take care of something. They say, be patient. You'll find a use for the animals at some point. Patience my ass. I want to kill something. They all must go. Okay, now that that's done, we can move on to harvesting this nether wart, and it'll be collected in the chest. So all we have to do is go over here and do the harvest. The crop hoppers are picking everything up and depositing in 
the chest. And the chest is empty, which is not the way it's supposed to be. This redstone block is supposed to stop the hopper from taking the stuff out of the chest. I have no idea why this is not working. Maybe because it's on the border of a chunk? But either way, if I remove this hopper here, that will allow it to not be sold by accident. That should do it. And now we're back and I'm going to work on the project that I mentioned earlier that is going to go in the spot that was occupied by the cactus farm. Essentially what I'm planning on building here is a farm that I can harvest with water. So we'll start laying down the dirt. I'm using glass as the border. a layer of water to keep this harvested so I'm going to go get water, some buckets and make a water source and I can just grab the buckets from here, there, here, there, whatever. Hoe this land and make it so that it can be planted on. start the next layer of dirt. The dirt is four deep and has the water as at the back and then it's covered by the next layer of dirt. And this process just keeps continuing. This will give a better view of what I'm doing. Creates the water, the spot for the water, I should say. And we can then fill in this water. And that will allow this land in front of it to be used by the farm. And then we just start building on top. I have some new projects. Actually, it's a new series I'm working on, and I want to talk about that a little bit while you're watching me finish up this farm. That new series is going to be called Kingdom Chronicle. I'm actually very excited about it because it is Minecraft 1.14 survival. That is the latest version of Minecraft with the first released of Village and Pillage. That's what they're calling this Minecraft release. And it includes whole new methods for dealing with villagers, as well as new mobs and new animals, and so many new blocks I've lost track of them all. Of course, it also includes everything in the 1.13 update, which was the update aquatic. I haven't played on that either. That gives you dolphins as well as new water mechanics. So a lot of new things will be with this update and I am really looking forward to it. This will be on its own server and it will not be a public server. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll just be the by invitation only 
and some people have been gracious enough to invite me to join. And again, I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. It really has me excited. It will be great, and you have that to look forward to. So, I am sorry to say that's all I have time for now. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>